For those of you that watched my video where I kind of just got some clips of the track teleskid pushing some snow, there was about eight inches of wet, heavy snow, and I had a 13 foot pusher on it, an Arctic LD. It pushed good in a straight line, uh, but it did struggle to turn even when it was empty, let alone when there was actually a bunch of snow in the pusher itself. Uh, so I kind of got looking, I was either going to get, you know, new tracks because mine are really, really wide. Um, if I got narrower tracks, maybe with a, just like a snow pattern. Uh, my tracks I have now are actually all season, so they are rated for snow as well. But they're just a little bit too wide. So I got looking at new tracks, realized that I didn't want to go that method. So then online I saw some chains and I was like, oh great, that will, you know, definitely help. Hopefully it doesn't damage the pavement too much. But then I went and looked at the price and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to go and spend that much money just for chains uh, for this track machine. So I had an old box of studs that we used for an old tractor that we had. And I screwed those studs right in. Um, I made it so like, I believe, 18 are touching the ground at all times. I would do three in one of the track ribs. And then I would skip three track ribs and then I'd put another three in. So I kind of had a pattern going with the studs. And this video is just going to be kind of like a before and after as far as the studs and the track goes. Um, they seem to work pretty good. As you can see in the video, I'm struggling here to turn without the studs. And in this next video here, I can turn really well with the studs in, even with a full pusher. So the studs are definitely a cheap, easy fix. Um, in case you're wondering how to make your track skid steer do better plowing snow. Uh, the studs didn't seem to do too much damage to the pavement, if any. It will leave some scar marks, but nothing crazy. Uh, plowing, especially with the little film that's left on the tar after you plow, seemed like it didn't do any damage at all. I feel like chains would probably scuff up the pavement a lot more. I mean, obviously chains would be better if you're doing, you know, gravel or any anything in the woods, but on pavement, I think these studs are the way to go. I think it's the cheapest option and they still work really good and they also aren't going to damage your pavement as much as chains so if you guys are struggling to turn with the attract machines why don't you get some studs for them they worked out for me so here they are i mean it's been you know years since we bought these and used them actually for our old tractor but they definitely weren't 1850 bucks like those chains so these seem to be pretty good and i did check the skid steer after that storm we used it quite a bit and absolutely none fell out or didn't look like there was any damage to the track that it was causing. Put that right into your drill and just screw them on. And when obviously spring comes, we'll take them off and it took about 20 minutes to install and probably take 20 minutes to take them out. So what I basically did is I'd do three, one on the side, one in the middle, one on the other side, and I would skip two, one, two, on this one right here. And so I go every three. And this is Essentially after the first storm, and it doesn't seem like any are falling out or there's any issues at all, which is really good. They have 18 studs showing here up top, which tells me I probably have 21 on the ground or so, which seems to be absolutely plenty. I wouldn't go for really any more or any less. Yeah, I'd definitely say those studs helped. Um, seemed like there was no issue turning, and it is pretty slippery out. And didn't seem to lose traction really at all. Uh, like always, thanks for watching, you guys.